Hey guys, it's Charlie. I'm your Saturday sub on the Pagan Perspective and today's topic is St. Patrick's Day versus Snake's Day. So, let's get started. When I first saw this topic, I was like, what in the world am I going to do this video on? Because for me, growing up, St. Patrick's Day isn't anything so special for us in uh, the U.S. As far as it goes, it's just a day that you wear green in order to not get pinched. So I was like, what in the world am I going to do this topic on? <laughs> I didn't really know any of the history behind it. So when I searched this topic online, you know, St. Patrick, Patrick, he was a missionary and he was a big symbol in Ireland for driving the snakes out of Ireland. <laughs> There's no snakes in Ireland because of the location of Ireland and the snakes represent pagans. So pretty much getting rid of paganism or driving paganism out of Ireland and converting people into Christianity. I decided that instead of doing this topic on the typical, you know, what is it and all of that, I would talk about whether I would celebrate it. Some pagans will wear a snake, whether it's a shirt or a symbol of a snake for some, you know, some sort on their clothing or jewelry as a representation of kind of like a backlash against St. Patrick's Day to say, hey, we're still here. You know, the pagans are here. <laughs> um, but would I celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Would I celebrate Snake's Day? I would say no to both of them because growing up I did celebrate it as a fun thing to do, to wear green, as a fun thing. I don't have any links to Ireland. <laughs> I have no connection, no, you know, lineage that I know of. And then with the snakes, I don't feel like it's really benefiting me, especially living in Korea, to wear a snake, to say any statement, make any statements, or maybe for a symbolic reason. There are many people around the world who celebrate holidays whose origin have no connection to their main beliefs, their core beliefs. For example, Christians celebrating Christmas when many things from Christmas have pagan origins, but Christians still celebrate and some, many do not know that there are pagan origins and even though some may learn the pagan origins, they still say, we don't care, it represents this to me. So, if I did care to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, it would be more of a fun, I'm having fun with my friends. I know in the US, my friends, some go out for the green beer and you know, they wear green and this is just more of like a fun time to just have a reason to celebrate and go out and have fun. Personally, I don't really celebrate things like that. <laughs> and I wouldn't necessarily feel the need to go out and wear any snakes or anything as a symbol of mm, pagans being here and as a backlash to celebrating St. Patrick's Day. If you want to celebrate, feel free to celebrate St. Patrick's Day or Snake's Day. And it's really about what does this mean to me? Does this have a meaning to me personally? And in my situation, it does not have any meaning. But I can actually see those who might have um, a connection with snakes, for example, who might want to choose this day as a day to use snakes as a symbol in their practice. This might be a perfect day to use it as some sort of ritual or, <laughs> you know, like use this day as a reason to, uh, you know, celebrate in your spirituality regarding snakes. But for me, snakes don't have a personal symbolic meaning to me. No connection, no symbolism no celebration but i can see how people might say you know what i am a pagan but even though this kind of counters was trying to draw off the pagans from ireland i'm a pagan why would i celebrate this holiday i have no connection to this holiday but thank you guys for watching and yeah when i saw this topic i was like what in the world am i going to talk about but <laughs> thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye